validation after a week. I think you guys, you know, felt good about the place you were at going into the season. But what is it? How different is it now to have some validation? Uh, you know, just which the way you threw the ball and, and having some success. It feels good. I mean, it feels good to go into your first weekend and come out with five wins. It also showed us, you know, there's a lot of things that we still need to work on, and it's early. But to fill the depth off our bench, to fill a healthy team, to fill a full roster, just all those things felt pretty good. Did you learn anything about the team, or did you kind of know what you were going to have from practice going into the this, live action? Yeah, this, this group, they're a fun group. Uh, they're a competitive group. They like to play hard for each other. Uh, I think they're a fearless group, too. Mm -hmm. You mentioned that Tara was kind of chomping at the bit, obviously sitting out last year. Was it nice to see her come out of the gates, you know, driving in that many runs? Yes. Everybody kept asking me if she was nervous or, and no. I feel like she's just been waiting and waiting patiently to play. And then when she got her opportunity, she didn't want to miss one opportunity. So it was nice to see her behind the plate with her leadership. Uh, it was nice to see her at the plate with her power, driving runs in. That's what we're expecting her to do this year. You mentioned that power. It seems like there's just a few more pieces in the lineup that have that potential to hit a few more home runs, drive in a few more runs. Rachel Sid, uh, one of those players who just took a jump, it seems like. What do you have to say about the potential for power on this year's team? Definitely. I, I think you will see a lot more. Um, you'll see our slugging percentage higher. I think you'll see some you know, extra base hits and some balls leaving the yard this year collectively through the lineup, and that just comes with the additional depth. It also comes from Coach Walden in the weight room and what she's been doing with this group as well, so I, I credit her with that extra oomph I think you're going to see with this year's team. Just watching you guys practice and a lot of chatter. seems like the players can critique each other, and yet mm -hmm. it's pretty positive. How do you just feel about the culture right now that, that, that you can still miss? Yeah, I, f I feel really good about the culture. That's something, that's the number one thing for us is our culture, and we work very, very hard on it every single day. And for them to play hard for each other, to play hard for this team, for us all to understand that we have the same vision and to be selfless, you know. So if I'm a hitter that could drive somebody in but's asked to um, put a bunt down to move runners, I'm going to do it because I trust my partner behind me. And I, I feel a sense of that from this group. Did you have to work particularly hard to instill that? Or is that part of what you say, they're eager to kind of – help each other out? Yeah, I think they're eager. Uh, I think too, just the more that they've gotten to be around each other, I think, and they enjoy each other. And I think that makes them even more want to do things, maybe sometimes out of the norm. You know, Rachel Sid the other day could have easily drove in the runner, but instead she put a squeeze down on a tough, tough pitch, got it down and we scored. Re regarding Tara, obviously sitting out last year, you would have loved to have her, but mm -hmm. how impressive was it her debut after not playing organized softball like that for, for basically a calendar year. Good, good. It was, I think Tara's a great athlete, so I, I, I felt like that's what I was going to see, yeah. <laughs> to be honest. I mean, could, could you characterize, because for somebody maybe who didn't sit right by your dugout, the kind of presence she had throughout the season? Because, you know, I think you saw a positive impact from her that maybe not a lot of people saw mm -hmm. just in terms of the presence she brought in the dugout. Can you characterize uh, yeah, that a little last bit? Year yeah. this year? Last year or this year? Last year, yeah. I, one thing we kind of made a point is I really, because she couldn't play, I really wanted her front and center. So throughout the whole year, she pretty much sat next to me and I would just talk with her a lot and ask her what she thought about certain things and talk to her about like, hey, go get in the go get in the huddle right now and let's get these guys going. So she didn't feel like she was just sitting out, that she felt included. She felt like she was learning how to be a leader. Um, so when she did get her opportunity, it wasn't like she was starting all over. She felt like she was already, um, I don't know, had that experience or that dialogue, I guess, to go along with it. So she was always next to us as coaches and to me I think of your catchers that's like having an assistant coach playing for you and that's that's how I feel about her what and you, Shay. Uh, Go ahead. What do you think about Brooke's stuff this weekend and mm -hmm. what's the dynamic between her and Jordan you know both had fantastic weekends and how they complement each other. Yeah I thought our pitching staff all four of them threw extremely well. I really liked the way Brooke was moving her ball. I thought she was very efficient. She was constantly ahead in the count. 
which allowed her to then expand the zone a lot. I, I thought Jordan, all, all four of them, that's what I was probably more impressed with is just their ability to work ahead. I think overall they gave up three walks in the weekend, which was huge for us because go ahead and if you can get them out via the strikeout, great. But if not, put the ball in play and trust that your defense is going to make the plays behind you. You mentioned the whole pitching staff. McKenna comes in, strikes out her first five mm -hmm. collegiate batters, and what well, was a blowout, but I mean, that's eye-opening the first time playing at this level to do something like that. Definitely, and I think that's McKenna trusting her stuff, trusting the zone. Um, she's got great movement. You're gonna see a lot more of her uh, as well. We've got a long season, and we're not gonna get through this season with one or two pitchers. In order for us to be successful, it's it's all four. What about this week? Similar to last weekend, it it might look a little different, you know. A lot of it is matchups and uh, who we're facing and where we're at, and uh, there's a lot of different things that go into it. But yes, you'll you'll see all of them.